Hi everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel. I hope you all are well. Guys, Microsoft recently launched a new Windows version, Windows 11, and made many changes on that version. So, in this video, I'll show you how you can install Windows 11 on your PC or on your virtual box. So, let's start installing. So guys to install Windows 11 on VirtualBox first you need to create a virtual PC. To create a virtual PC first click on new. Now type the name of your virtual PC for me win 11. Now from this drop down list uh, select your virtual PC area. You can keep this default or you can change location. I am changing my virtual PC location. Now from the type section select Microsoft Windows. From the version section select Windows 10. If you want to install Windows 11 uh, 32 bit then select Windows uh, 10 32 bit. I have 64 bit OS so I am selecting Windows 10 64 bit. In this list you will not find the Windows 11 option because some days ago Microsoft released Windows 11. So after selecting click on uh, next. Now from the memory section select virtual PC memory size. I am using only 2GB because I have only 4GB of memory. If you have 8GB or 16GB memory then I recommend you to set up uh, 4GB or more. After selecting memory size click on uh, next. Now select create a virtual hard disk now and click on create. Now select VDI or virtual box disk MS and click on next. Now select dynamic allocated and click next now select file location size i recommend you to set up 30 gb or more for me i set up 30 gb uh, which is enough for me now create ok now my virtual pc created now you need to make some changes to your virtual pc system for that select your virtual pc which you created and then click on settings Then click on system, then processor. From the processor section, uh, select at least two processor. Then click on the display area. Now set up video memory 128 MB or more and click OK. Now our virtual PC is ready to set up Windows 11. So to start set up Windows 11, I am clicking on the start button. Here you can see one new page pop up. Now we need to set up or insert Windows 11 iOS file to start Windows setup. Here you can see it's empty. To set up or insert an iOS file click on this icon. Then click on add. Now select your Windows 11 iOS file. Here is my Windows 11 iOS file. So just select the iOS file and click on open. Then click on choose and finally click on start. Ok here you can see the windows 11 setup is starting. Ok first I am making this skin to full skin. Ok. Guys from here you can change your windows install language. You can change time and currency format and also keyboard and input method. So I leave this as it is and next. Ok install now. Ok guys here you can see windows is asking for a product key. So if you have any windows 11 product key then you can submit here. Or you can click on I don't have a product key. Now here you can see the Windows 11 different version list. All are 64 bits. And here are last modified it. Now for me I am selecting Windows 11 Pro. And next. Ok except Microsoft Windows terms and condition. And next now click on custom install windows only 
Now here you can see I have only 30 GB disk space which I selected at previous settings. If you have more space and want to create more drive then click on new and specify your new drive space. So I leave this as it is and next. Ok here you can see the windows install process is start. It will take some time. I script this uh, copying windows file step so that I can make this video short. Ok now the PC get a restart. Guys when you see this message please do not press any key otherwise windows will start from the first step. Ok here you can see the windows 11. Microsoft made some graphical changes here. Now from here you can select your country or region. For me United States and yes. Now from here you can select your keyboard layout. For me US and yes. You can add a second keyboard from here or you can script. I script this step. Now you need to choose an option set up for personal or for work or school. I am selecting for personal and next. Now you need to sign in with your Microsoft or Hotmail account. You can create an account, sign in with a security key or you can choose different sign in option. Now I sign in with my Microsoft account. Guys you may find all this option if you are connected to the internet. Otherwise, you may not find this option. Now friends, you need to create a pin for logging. Now I am set up a pin for my logging. Now guys, from here you can restore your previous Windows desktop or you can set up a new device. Friends, again I am telling you, you may find this option if your PC connected to the internet. Now I am selecting restore. And next. Now from here you can choose privacy settings. I am leaving all this as it is and accept. Now from here you can choose which option you like and click accept. I am selecting all items and accept. Now from here select the option you want. I am selecting only store file on the drive and next. Now Windows may take some time to automatically start. Now here you can see the Windows is starting graphics change. Microsoft adds some uh, colorful animation graphics here. Ok finally here you can see windows 11 desktop view, it's totally changed. Graphics, color, font, icon everything changed. Here you can see start menu position, icon color, icon position all are changed. If I go to my computer, here you can see at my computer drive icon, folder icon all are changed. Friends, I have another video on Windows 11 new feature and its changes. You'll find the video link in this video description. So that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you are, please click on the like button. If you have any question, please comment below. Subscribe now for more upcoming tech videos of this channel. So thanks for watching this video. Please stay safe at home. See you in the next video.